Yeah, that, you know, they're just so deep now. It's every single time the gate opens, the guys are on, uh, you know, a fantastic bull. And, and bull riders in this day and age are getting challenged like they've never been before. It's the bulls who draw first blood of the new year. That one lasts only 3.79 seconds. Douglas Duncan coming off a one for five performance at the world finals back in October. This did not go his way. No, and you can see that bull really widen out right there as Douglas makes that move. Again, you know, these bulls are not only good, but they're very smart and understand the game. The bull said, hey, you want to dive off through the well on the inside of the skin? Have at it. I'll make, it, I'll make it even easier for you. Something our true fans know is that these bulls are 50% of the score. They are just as much athletes as the riders are. If you're finding us for the first time on YouTube tonight, there's a lot to learn. Cord McCoy, one of the veterans of the sport, only goes a little over three seconds. Cord always been one of the fan favorites, Ty. Yeah, Cord McCoy is just... Talk about, a, talk about a great role model. When you have a kid, you, you just hope that they grow up to be something like Cord McCoy and just always has a great attitude, you know, always puts out the effort, stands for everything a man's supposed to stand for. You know, it's funny, that last ride, Ty, starting to say, if you're a new fan, there's a lot to learn, but I think you would look at me and say, it all comes down to those, something that's pretty simple. It's just eight seconds, isn't it? You know, that's the thing, and, and this sport just tests you so much. Effort is, is such a huge part of this, and, and seeing the guys be able to come into the new year with that renewed sense of energy. That was Dakota Beck, a board big spread. This is something that fans of the sport Never get used to seeing the tie. It happens. And it's just something all the riders deal with. You know, you see that, that the improvements they're making in helmets in this game, they're getting so good and they're getting them so small. You can see that horn come and clip him in the head right there. You know, there's not an athlete going to take a harder hit to the head than that when you do it without a helmet they're going to make you pay Dakota Beck two different events last year hoping to start off this season we take another look Ty and as you've already mentioned it was the right horn that came up and right there gave him that shot you know whenever you you know, going back talking about the helmets, whenever you have a piece of equipment that you know is going to help protect you and help cut down on those injuries, and this is what you do for a living, you've got to be out there day in and day out, and you know, you've got to be able to ride and ride well to make a good living. I just don't understand why you wouldn't use that piece of equipment. We'll have a chance later on in the telecast, as well as later on this weekend, to see some of these new helmets that the Rams are using. But Shorty, to, to Ty's point, uh, it seems almost that this is a given that these guys should be wearing protective headgear. You know, Craig, I, I got to tell you, if I was uh, strapping my hand on one of these bull bags and getting it on my head, uh, you can bet I would have one on. Uh, there's arguments back and forth, you know, uh, between the riders on, on, you know, their pros and cons to them, but uh, this, you know, the brain is, a, I'm no doctor, but it's a, it's a very delicate organ, and, and if you could protect it, why not, you know, uh, it, it may not be what John Wayne would have done, but uh, we've learned a lot since then, so. Hey, before we get too far into this, partner, I want to tell you, nice beard. Well, yeah. <laughs> You know, uh, there's some things that go on behind the scenes that a lot of the fans don't uh, know about. This is one of them. we got to do some filming in the morning, and then it's coming off. Okay? All right. This is Bo Hill against Stifler. It's great to see Bo Hill back. He only attended two events last season. We've got our first qualified ride in New York. And Ty, it's good to see with those knees of his... 
Bo Hill able to get away from that ball? It's got to it's got to feel good for Bo. You know, he was out for a long time with with knee surgery, and you know, this is first time coming back with a new brace on. Said the knees feel great. He spent a lot of time hunting in the mountains. He said done a lot of hiking on it. Said he felt like Dr. Tandy Freeman done a fantastic job fixing it and feels great. He's even looking to get a brace for the other leg, which hasn't been hurt, but just to use as a precautionary measure. His best result last season was a sixth place in Anaheim, where we will be next weekend. Wasn't able to attend last year's finals, but in 2010 was two for five that season at the World Finals. Visiting with Tyler Thompson right there in the purple shirt. So Bo's on the board. He becomes the early leader here in round number one. Let's check inside the arena and with Flint Rasmussen, who if you ever come to the live events, you know is our barrel man. Nobody entertains better in the business. The official and exclusive tools and security partner of the PBR. Stanley, wherever you go, whatever you do, make something great. And like a very excitement Shorty, it seems like Flint's just taunting the crowd right there, getting them warmed up. Yeah, you know, uh, for you folks at home, get to see this. Uh, this is something that a lot of times you don't get to see on the telecast, but uh, at our intermission breaks or uh, commercial break, uh, Flint, Flint's job is to uh, keep the crowd entertained, keep them active, and, uh, and uh, you know, just keep it exciting for them. So uh, when he does his job right, they only realize we haven't bucked me any bulls in the last four minutes, but uh, he's the best there is, and, and you can tell that when you see all the cowboys behind the shoots that are watching him, and they see him week in and week out, they still watch him, so very good at what he does. Stormy Wing next in the shoots, the 22-year-old from Dalhart, Texas. His best ride last year happened twice. It was 90 and a quarter points aboard Delco at the finals in Las Vegas, as well as in Anaheim aboard Red Hot. Only rode 22% of his bulls, so Ty, off of that statistic alone, he's going to have to do a little bit better if he hopes to survive this first cut after five events. Well, that's the thing. I mean, that sense of urgency is there. And, you know, he's, Stormy's a, this is a very cat-like, athletic, strong pound for pound, very quick, athletic guy. You know, we see flashes in that 22% that he that he does make the whistle. You see some flashes of brilliance there, but you know he's got to he's got to start stringing them together if he's going to ride at this highest level. Last year in New York City, he was 0 for 3. In fact, to touch on that riding percentage again, 17 different events last year, he did not have a qualified ride. What's going on right here, Ty? What's he waiting for? I have to ask Shorty. I think that bull's laying down in the chute. Yeah, Ty, uh, he pulled his rope, uh, went flat, flat up on his hand, and uh, and the bull just, just laid down, really no reason. I, I'm not sure why the bull did that, but we got to get him up, uh, get a fair go. Sometimes sometimes the riders will take him that way. Uh, sometimes the contactors will, will let him. Sometimes they prefer not to. Looks like they want to get this bull standing square, give everybody a fair opportunity, and and uh, get out of there clean. Hey, Shorty, give us, while he's preparing, give us a reason why you would take the bull sitting down or laying down and, and a reason you wouldn't take him laying down. Well, uh, Craig, some of these bulls, you know, the longer you mess with them in there, they, they seem to get a little frustrated, and then it takes away from their performance in the arena. So the faster you can get on and get things together and nod your head, the better the bull will perform, creating more points for you. And uh, if the bull will leave clean, and you can do it laying down, you really don't. That's what he's capable of. Very small, quick, compact, athletic guy. 